Hi, today we will see how to install VMware Workstation 7.1 on Windows 7, create a new virtual machine, and install Windows Server 2008 64 bit edition on it. The download links for both VMware Workstation and Windows Server 2008 can be found in the description. I have kept aside the complete D drive for this purpose, and I will be installing it there, you can even install it on an external hard drive. Those are just my personal preferences. Once it's installed, if you have a key, you can enter that, and if you don't, you can just skip it. Once we have the program up and running, let's hit new virtual machine, and I have gone with a typical install. If you have the Windows Server DVD, load it, or else browse to the ISO file downloaded from Microsoft. I am creating the virtual machine and installing Windows Server 2008 in the D drive. I will be allocating the recommended 80 gigabytes of space though you can give more. Once it's done, we shall customize the hardware for the virtual machine. In RAM, the recommended one is 1 GB, and I will be giving it around 1.5 GB. We shall change the number of processors to 2, and under Network Adapter, I have chosen Bridged Connection, because I would like to be able to get Internet access off of my host computer. I have let the rest of the options to default. Once you are ready, it will take you through the setup process of Windows Server. And once we have it installed, it will ask us to give an administrator password, and make sure that you give a unique password which is strong. While it's installing, I guess it's the right time to advertise my blog. I'm sure it will be helpful for all beginners of SharePoint. It is, living in a moss, dot, wordpress, dot, com. I repeat, it is, living in a moss, dot, wordpress, dot, com. In VMware Workstation 
As soon as we log into Windows Server, it will automatically install VMware tools, which is very very important. If it doesn't, then you can just go to VM on the top, and click install VMware tools. We shall reboot the virtual machine once the tools are installed, and in the next startup, the server will automatically bring up the initial configuration page. Here we have to set up the time zone first, and then we shall download and install updates, which is also very very important. In the second part of this video, we shall see how to configure Windows Server 2008, in order to install, SharePoint Server 2010 on it. So long.